Hey, what's up? It's Heroic, and this is a track-by-track -track breakdown of my debut EP, I'm Sad But It's Different. Around midnight, I knew I wanted to be the first in the track list for the EP because it was the first one made for the EP. It was the single that I came out with first, and it was the first song that I made in general. It was the first time I had finished a song and been like, you know, I think this is good enough to put out. I think I'm ready to release this. And so that really filled me with a lot of pride and happiness that Around Midnight kind of symbolized the start of I'm sad, but it's different. For a lot of songs on the EP, I kind of imagined a setting or a situation for the song. And for Around Midnight, I kind of pictured like a late night drive, if that makes sense. Or like a dark street at night with like a few dim street lamps. And so I think the final result does match that image. That was its intention, and I think it succeeded in that. The second song from the EP, Glitch, was an idea that I first had. I wanted to kind of use technological or video game kind of sounds and make a song out of them. And so Glitch was kind of the project I used for that idea. I started with that kind of rhythmic, beeping, almost sound, and just made it from there. And I think it came into shape really well. Lost is the third song in the EP. It's probably my second favorite. It's definitely up there for one of my favorites on the EP. It was one of the last ones I made but I think it still kind of fit its place almost in the album. And I don't think it sounds like a finale track. It was also the first one that I had a music video for. It's kind of a different music video than you might imagine. It's not me singing the lyrics. It's not some storytelling. It's just kind of one prolonged shot of me in nature. Um, this video, style for me was inspired by Quedeca. I think his song, I think it was Live Like This. He had a video like that. It's just kind of one shot of him on this kind of like oceanside cliff. And I think the video is slowed a bit, but it's just the same idea. One long video of him just kind of sitting there. I liked that idea and I thought it fit Lost well because when you watch the video, I'm just kind of sitting in nature and it gives this feeling where like I could be lost almost in the nature. I'm just, there's no really signage or direction for anything. And I'm just kind of there enjoying the moment. The filming for this was a little hard. It was just me, no, no crew, but I had found the location, but it was a lot of it was a lot of worrying. Like I would set up the camera and first I wanted to make sure where I was sitting was like a comfortable place in frame. I didn't want me like at the very corner of the video. So I had to get the framing right. And then also I was worried that the camera would like fall down while filming or something. And if that ever happened, I would have to go from where I was sitting, walk from the camera. Cause I, was, I wasn't like right in front of it. It was a bit away. And so from there to the camera, fix it all up, put the stand back up, and then go back to my spot. But that didn't happen too much, and I'm really happy with how the final product came out. Nice to be in orbit. Orbital is the fourth track from the EP. It was the second single I put up after Around Midnight, and it kind of went back in to this concept setting kind of song where I imagined, whether it's myself or someone else, just kind of 
in a spaceship or a space station kind of orbiting the outside of Earth and just watching the planet and like watching people's lives happen. And then about halfway through making it, I would say maybe like a third of the way, I kind of changed its meaning and wanted it to have this feeling of like, when you have to like, when you feel a bit detached from reality or from your life, you might feel like a bit like on autopilot or something. I kind of wanted it to describe that feeling. And so the the kind of repeating phrase you hear through the song, nice to be in orbit, still fit into the whole space theme, but also kind of, it's nice to not always live in the moment 100% and give everything you have, because eventually that's gonna get you burnt out and you can't do that constantly. And so it's nice to kind of just let yourself and your mind relax a bit and just kind of take a back seat for a little. The fifth track from the EP is In The Mist. I wanted the video to kind of be like lost, but I wanted it to be a bit of a grayer day, a grayer atmosphere. And I, I was waiting for a day to kind of have like a fog rolling through or clouds like level with me. So you kind of had to look through the clouds at what the camera was seeing. But it was about a month before the release date and we still hadn't had days like that and it wasn't forecast that days like that would come. And so I just kind of went with what we had, which was this kind of grayish day. I think the day before it had rained. And so I think that gave a nice atmosphere a vibe to that. And I think the video still looks cool. I still think it's a cool video but I would have just liked a bit more fog or mist, if you will, in the video. Recalibrate is actually interesting. I was considering it not putting it on the final version of the EP, because when I was still crafting the EP, I had planned for re Recalibrate to be the uh, last track. I planned for it to kind of close out the album. All the songs that come before it, Around Midnight Lost, all those, um, it's kind of this calmer, chiller, sadder for some of them vibe. And I wanted Recalibrate to kind of portray the feeling that in life, you're going to get sad, it's inevitable. But whenever you're sad, whenever you're down, it will get better. And Recalibrate was kind of meant to end the album and, or EP, I guess, and kind of bring it back up to a little bit of a happier or more cheerful level. So I have these like cinematic, sad violins playing, but it still has this kind of disco thump and be like, oons, 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 oons. And I think that kind of gives a nice clash between the two feelings. And that's exactly what I was looking for. The final track of the EP, the title track of the EP, definitely the most production or hardest to make song of the EP, definitely the most time consuming, definitely the most meaningful, so much went into this final song. I'm sad, but it's different. I wanted to kind of make a song describing, I get this feeling sometimes, it's not, it's not anxiety, it's not sadness, it's not anger, but I get the same kind of like tightness in the chest or adrenaline that comes with it. And so I wanted to kind of ex express that, hey, I literally don't have words to express this feeling, but I'm gonna try. And I was watching YouTube one day and this video came up on my page by a, a channel called Sammy. And I was watching it and that clip that you hear at the start of I'm sad, but it's different. That's the clip that I heard. And I was like, yes, that is the feeling that I've been feeling. And so I reached out to Sammy and I said, hey, can I put this in a song that I'm working on for an EP? I got the I got permission to do that. I put it in. 
and I think it tied. I got permission to use it. I'm sad, but it's different as the EP title. But I also, what was awesome is Sammy is a super cool artist and offered to make the cover art for the EP. And so that really tied the whole EP together. And what I have for this EP really could not have happened without this cover art. Towards the start of the song, you have that one clip of me kind of saying, little do they know it's a whole world in there. I'm talking about my head because I have a story ready that I want to release, whether it's through some other medium or it is through music. I think it's going to be through music, but I have this story ready and I want to put it out, get it out there somehow. And I started that or kicked that off with I'm sad, but it's different. If you look at the cover art in the bottom right hand corner, there's this little little guy, little alien creature that's Nabir. He is from a far, far away planet, far away galaxy. Um, his planet is actually on the cover art also in the top left. That's Vokel, his planet. Um, but he's from Vokel. He escaped or left, however you want to interpret it. And he kind of somehow found his way to Earth. Uh, he had to find a host because he wanted to learn about humans. And he also didn't want to just be out in the open because then knowing humans, we would realize that there's an alien among us and try to probably capture it, test it, whatever. So once he got to Earth, he kind of wanted to find a human host. And so he was looking, he was looking, he found one and he got in their head. And that host is me. So Nabir is, Nabir is up here somewhere. Um, and so you kind of hear this robotic, almost alien harmonic voice on the track. That's Nabir speaking. And towards the end of the song, you hear this kind of portal sound that's going into a memory of mine when it's about, it's about two weeks before the EP release date. And I'm talking to Nabir, who's this kind of creature that personifies or embodies my insecurities, my anxieties, anything I'm not sure about, the, just the bad thoughts, kind of. So I'm having this conversation with Nabir and I show him, I'm sad, but it's different. The whole EP and especially the last song. And he kind of says like, oh, like that's, like this title track has your voice on it. You didn't have your voice in any of the other ones and you don't have the best singing voice. And so I was kind of freaking out last minute and I started scrambling, trying to reproduce the song. And I ended up having Nabir's voice be the one telling you this feeling. Cause I, I had let Nabir win the argument and he had convinced me that my voice wasn't good enough to fit on the track. I believe one day I'll get to the point of having my voice on a song, but um, for the moment, Nabir will tell you that feeling. I hope to kind of use Nabir and his storyline and continue his story through albums, songs, whatnot. I want this to be a longer extended storyline and I hope that'll come. But for now, the only kind of story thing you have is the EP cover art and I'm sad, but it's different. That was the track by track breakdown of my debut EP, I'm sad, but it's different. The genius annotations for uh, Orbital and I'm sad, but it's different are now up on genius. Uh, I don't have the other songs just because there are no ly lyrics in them, but you can find Orbital and I'm sad, but it's different. And my single with Grim Reaper, you can find Crypto on genius. So those three songs have lyrics and annotations to them. But in the meantime, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you still enjoy listening to I'm Sad But It's Different. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.